If you're an angler looking for a rod storage solution, this might be the product for you. What's up anglers, Mike here, Trout Made Angler Company. Thanks for smashing on that play button. Today, we're doing something a little different. Um, the same, but kind of different. We're gonna do an unboxing and a, a review, um, but it's not on a rod, it's not on a reel. It, it's something that we, that I've personally have taken for granted. Um, having the rod collection that I do over the years have collected different trout rods and now that I'm in, into different types of fishing like bass saltwater and freshwater and especially tuna and being out there on offshore fishing my collection has gotten kind of out of hand so much so that I'm doing this video because I got to treat my, my trout rods uh, especially fragile and special as they are so if you've been following Trout Made Angler Company for a while, you'll know where I'm standing right here in my, um, my tackle area. Uh, this used to be where this cabinet is right here. There was another cabinet kind of doubled up and that acted as my fishing closet. I was able to put a, a certain height of rod in there um, until, you know, then I got into eight foot rods, trout rods, other rods, and you know, we had to do something else. So from the cabinet, uh, in that storage area, tackle, my tackle grew tremendously as well. So that's why we blew this out, took this out, made this my, my, my tying station, my tackle area, my tackle desk. Um, got all my tying materials, got all my tackle right here. Got my reels up here, bags up here. And you know, my rods are now on the stairway right in front of me right here. I'm gonna show you a little clip. So my fiance built the, the, the rod holder at the top to hold the rods, but as you can see, I'm counting, I got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rods there. And my trout rods and bass rods are tripled up. There's just not enough room to keep my rods where they currently are. So I went on Amazon, I actually saw a couple other YouTube videos reviewing the same product, then I went on Amazon and I picked up the Savior Equipment Rod Holder. All right, the videos uh, on YouTube and the instructions and, and uh, reviews on Amazon says it's easy to set up, no tools required. All right, so, and it looks pretty clean too. You know, that's, I love the aesthetics. You gotta have the aesthetics as well. So save your equipment. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, open up this rod rack and we're gonna use this and put this in the studio, the Get Made Studio, and we're gonna have our, our lighter uh, ultralight and maybe some of our bass rods stored there in the studio on this new Savior Equipment rod rack. All right, anglers, so coming up right now, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this um, and put it together, assemble it, and then we're gonna put our rods in the rack in the studio and uh, put them in their new home. Stick with me. And if you're an angler looking for a rod storage solution, this might be the product for you. So it's time to put this baby together, put it in the studio, and get our, our trout rods and our lighter tackle rods a new home. Let's get to it. We're just gonna dump everything out right here on the table. If it's that simple enough, we should be all right. This is pretty much the only tool you need. Not scissors, but just something to open the box. Instructions, no shame in looking at the instructions, anglers, you know. We know we got that pride as anglers and all that, egos, but there's no shame in looking at instructions. So far as I'm like taking this stuff out, the material seems very, very durable. So that's always a good thing. So we got our pieces laid out. Let's take a look at the instructions and get this thing built. So this is the rack base. We're gonna go ahead. It says to start with the bases here. So 
So these are the uh, the poles we're gonna align into the bases. And this side right here, there's this plastic thing with some little grooves. We're just gonna slide it where it belongs, right in there, nice and sturdy. All right, we're gonna do the same with the other one. Boom, right in there, cool. And you gotta have these grooves facing on the inside so we did it right without knowing it. <laughs> This is the top rack, very firm. Again, material, some uh, EVA foam, very, very durable, um, you know, soft padding for your rods. So we're gonna go ahead and get this rack together. This is the top one, it's a lot narrower. And this is the bottom rack. You could tell it's a lot wider. So it says to slide the wider rack right on top of here. Once you got it on, you just slide it down. Should even out all by itself. Fit those uh, knob square heads into the grooves, slide it down and uh, tighten it up. And as you tighten these knobs, your rack gets sturdier. What's the next step? Don't assume, look at the directions. <laughs> we got ahead of ourselves. We went all the way down to the bottom, tying the screws. We might have to adjust that depending on our rods and how they're sitting. You can adjust the height on the bottom rack. And that goes the same for the top rack. It loosens these up. Being able to adjust to your preferred height. Making sure it's even. Looks good. We're definitely might gonna have to adjust these anglers. Cool. Cover the exposed areas with the caps, find the grooves. So once you got the caps on and your racks on, we're gonna go ahead and put these, um, the bottom plate holder, which is gonna, your, the butt, the very bottom of your uh, reel hand, your, your rod handle is gonna be uh, your grip and everything, right? The very bottom is gonna be resting on these, which is gonna, you know, not cause your rod to slide all the way down. So we're gonna put these on right now. Here is the plate holder. You throw some slaps on there, some get made slaps, you know? So it says to loosen the bottom. And uh, I can see there, yeah. Maybe adjust the bottom a little bit. Cool, so we got the plate holders in. Took a minute, but um, definitely makes this rack a lot more sturdier and stable with this uh, placeholder foundations. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten that in, get the other one on, and then it's time to get our rods in here and actually get measured. Um, make sure the racks are at the right height for our rods, and then put it in the studio. Figure out where we're gonna put it and keep our rods at in this new rod rack. All right, anglers, we're all done with uh, putting together our new Savior rod rack, fishing rod rack. And I'm pretty stoked to actually get it measured out with our fishing rods. We're gonna do that right now. But I just wanted to mention that this rod rack comes in a couple different colors. Uh, the black, as you see here, I believe they're silver and kind of a, a bluish uh, metallic type, okay? So whatever your heart desires, man, your color preference, take a look. The description and the Amazon affiliate link uh, is directly the below in the description. If you buy through there, it helps me out just a little bit, man. So if you're looking for a new rod rack, go ahead, uh, hit the description below and the links down there, get yourself one. Um, I'll let you know how it works out here in a second. Let's go ahead and um, clean this up real quick, get our rods and do our measurements. All right, we're ready to put our rods in this new rod rack and adjust uh, the racks for the rod. And, um, you know, we want to make sure that it's supported uh, up top and supported um, 
you know, below this guide here, this first guide, and make sure there's no obstruction and it's sitting just right. Um, I have the Phoenix Elixir 7.6, so that's gonna be, um, um, so we're gonna go ahead and do the measurements off this. Pretty much all my other rods are the same, you know, besides the uh, Dragonflies in eight foot. So only six more inches, but um, we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Let's take this elixir and get it measured. And try not to break it in the process. All right, it's sitting pretty good there. Let's see if uh, maybe move this a little higher. Maybe move the top rack a little higher. Both of them just a little bit higher. All right, anglers, there we have it, man. This rod rack uh, from Savior Equipment, man, was really, really easy to put together. It only took so much time because I'm filming it. <laughs> For real, man, it, it probably would have took me maybe 10 minutes to, to put it all together and figure it out very easy very sturdy the aesthetics the look of it uh great great material i believe it looks like feels like aluminum um very sturdy man um i'm very impressed by it uh holds the rods very very sturdy uh very um just kind of sitting there doing its thing the rod itself how it sits in here is just sits naturally um straight vertical and very easy to, to take out, to put in. You just gotta, depending on your ceiling height, just watch the tip of the rod. I almost broke my elixir just trying to get it in here because the ceiling's a little low right here. So that might mean I might not, eight foot, hmm, ouch. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> this rod rack might just be for my seven, six, this is almost, eight feet, seven, six, but it's off the ground. And the, the ceiling's probably eight feet and uh, with the rod rack and then three inches on top, three inches below, it's definitely eight feet's probably the max, uh, depending on your ceiling height and where you're putting this rod rack. But for me, it really looks like this is gonna work out anglers. Let's go ahead, get our other rods. We're gonna put them in the rod rack, in the studio, find a place for it, and we'll have some peace of mind coming up and down this stairway not to to break our trout rods our ultralight and lighter fishing gear um just by you know living in the house man we got everything in its place and i'm stoked to get these rods in the rod holder angler so let's go ahead and do that let's go hit the studio grab the other rods All right, anglers, we got our rods in the rod rack, as you can see. Um, I wanted to put them right here, so that way when we do the Get Made show or what have you, they're in the shot. If not, I can move them around. Super easy, they're not stuck or fixed in one place. That was another reason I wanted the rod rack, something I could move around depending on what I'm doing for content. So this rod rack from Savior Equipment can hold 24 rods without the reels, okay? And the rods, my uh, Dragonfly's eight foot, it just would not fit. So it has to be anything under seven, six and under would be seven foot, six inches for your rod would be a perfect size and length for this rod rack. And again, your ceilings might be taller, what have you. It's just my ceilings I'm in. So you're gonna have to do the measurements yourself and figure out what's best for you. So if you wanted to keep your reels on your rods and put them and utilize this rod rack, then I would say, you know, half the amounts, okay? 24 rods without reels, I say 12 rods with reels, six on one side, the front, six on the back. But again, depending on the rod and the reel size, you're gonna have to put this together 
and play with it yourself you know what i mean so anglers i put some of the rods i needed to to utilize it and and put in this rod rack and get out of harm's way uh if you will you know what i mean just put it in a, in a safe comfortable sturdy uh protected place which is what this rod rack is for um so i'm gonna let you know what rods i put in the rod rack and um that'll complete our video man i hope you guys enjoyed it something a little bit different gear everything that that happens it's this is a lifestyle so if you're looking for a purchase a reason to get a new rod rack it's a lifestyle purchase man you got to have your lifestyle angling having your rods in order and safe let's be honest we break a lot of rods I've broken a lot of rods within transportation and storage. So here are the rods that I put in the rod rack. Way back in the corner, I got the iRod 764 Coastal Kamana. It's a great bass rod. I got my bass rod drop shot rod, the uh, classic MBX Phoenix. Um, I have my feather for the drop shot trout. I got my elixir, my mirage, and I have my girl's rod right here. This is a Shakespeare rainbow trout skin rod. Um, she loves it. She calls it Skittles. Named it Skittles. Taste the rainbow. You know what I mean? And this one is my custom made Ioyas uh, trout rod. So yeah, anglers, those are the rods I needed to put up and keep safe. So again, if you think uh, you need some storage uh, for your rods or just get your, your tackle and gear in order and you like this video, Check out this rod rack by Save Your Equipment. All the links are in the description below, anglers. And in case you were wondering, this door does close. I left enough room. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here and close the door. So I'm out, anglers. My name is Mike. This is Trout Made Angler Company. I appreciate your support. Appreciate you watching this video. If you're new, subscribe. We get made here. Trout fish in action. Check out the Patreon. Check out the baits, troutmade.com. I love everybody, man. Thank you so much for all your support. And I'm stoked on my new rod rack by Save Your Equipment. This is not a sponsored video. I just thought I'd do it. Pretty cool product. Hope you guys enjoy it and can use it yourself. Catch you later. I'm out.